But if I'm honest, I feel like... Is this it? Just these guys? Because that would explain why I don't remember anything about fucking... Because I was thinking about that when I saw the Lava Queen. I was like, I feel like this is a secret boss chapter. And that was where my mind was going? I think I'm going to do the Yoshis, and I think that's actually what I did with the last time I did this. I mean, um, you know, when we did the rematch with them the first time, I think that was what I used. Like... Um... How to say this? I thought about, you know, Rabid Luigi, but, you know, I got that feeling he's probably not going to reach, and... Also, um... Probably... If we empower this right now, we might be able to just kill him. Like, just right off the bat. Let's give it a shot. Alternatively, he could get, like, honeyed or something. Alright. Yeah, that's that's it. He's dead. Cause the supporter's there to like, you know, make that harder, but it's not too much of an issue. And if we put him here, Yosh can reach Well we don't have a choice, we have to go up that way. He, I don't think he's gonna reach uh Wario, but yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, Yoshi can't even reach that far to begin with. Mario, you're probably even worse. You're actually not in this case. How the fuck, what a day is it to be alive where Mario is actually a little bit more useful than Yoshi is because of where he's positioned, isn't it? Alright, well, you've got nothing else to shoot. So, I think, I don't know, I'd rather go for this just to get rid of the block, I suppose. Because that's at least a strategic use. Yosh doesn't have anything he can really do, because even moving from there, like, that's it. So I kind of want to just bazooka this. But before I bazooka... Uh, that's not going to help. Before I bazooka this, because I know he's going to be open anyway. That's at least something. Had I done that first, no, that was, still wouldn't have been enough. I was going to say Mario could have, um, Mario could have shot at him, but no, the thing's still there, so it doesn't even matter. Also, I instantly forgot about that. But that's kind of funny how it lights them on fire. <laughs> Yeah, I figured that was probably going to be leaving in a second. Stop oh no is about right. Shut up. He's going to do something evil. I knew it. That was all that really did was undo the burn, I think. Okay. So, if we go ahead and we turn that on. Grab that coin. Because I'm thinking I want to try the super luck as well. But I don't know how much range I'm going to be able to get on that. Move it like here, maybe. Oh, that would have to be the optimal place of putting it. Right, didn't think about that part. I also didn't bother thinking about the part where it's healing. Right now I'm mostly just thinking about the kill Wario part. That's where it ends, but had I thought about that I probably would have um maybe done something. <laughs> just stand them right next to each other and be like, hey there friend, it uh seems to be a bad place for you. 
I might be able to kill this supporter with just tackles alone. I don't... yeah, that's not enough. Um, I don't know if I want to... yeah... Go ahead and take the shots. No, I said super luck. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. I mean, had I turned it on, it actually probably would have made the difference. Yeah, so we'll just put him right here, so this way I guess we're sort of... Fuck! I forgot to tackle the idiot. That's alright. Doesn't matter. He would have lived anyway. We can most definitely use super luck on uh, the next one, as long as we don't get burned or whatever, which would probably... Uh, I don't know. The answer's no, we're fine. All we really need to do is just kill this one, that's it, and... If that's... Okay... That sort of ruined things. That at least got put to good use, because I was actually worried, I was like, crap, we wasted it, but... Guess not. I don't want to jinx what I'm thinking, but I'm definitely thinking it. That's close enough. Like, we really don't even need it, but I kind of want it. Like, it, the poor bastard's already honeyed. He's not going far. You're going nowhere, basically. Yeah, we really don't even need it. Yosh! I mean, it worked anyway, I guess. Yeah, that was... That was probably the easiest boss remix out of all of them. But that's not the end of it, so that's good to know then, because I guess that would mean it technically doesn't count. Dig! It doesn't always do the sound sometimes. Actually, what's weird is I sort of remember this path, Does that makes sense, that little trail in the ground. Like, that's a really weird-ass thing to say, but, like, that feels familiar to me. Yeah... Hello, chest. I almost missed you. Except I wouldn't have, because that would have been impressive to miss something like that. I was actually wondering for a second, I was like, how the hell am I supposed to get it off the wall? They thought of that. Otherwise, the puddle, puddle, it's a puddle now, would have been unsolvable. Until then, it'll just have to sit there and I'll probably have to redo the fucking thing. There's Booster Jr. Oh, wow. So, what's your plan? Uh, I don't have one. If I were to guess, I'd say don't die. The good news is these guys retain all of their health, so that's like one shot. Pressing the X button at the wrong time. I think this is the setup I want. And that's kind of where I'm thinking about it. Let's turn on our sights for everybody. Oh, that's going to be such a bad idea because Bowser Jr. is going to be the stupid idiot that moves. 
But if I can, like, position things to where they hit some of these guys on the sides, like this, that's kind of what I'm wanting. This is such a bad idea. I should have never agreed to these terms and conditions. The good news is now he's changing his mind. Okay, now let's go ahead and go over here and do basically the same thing, but on the... Fuck you. We might as well just go for it because I can't guarantee they'll be next to each other on the next turn, so. Seems like he's got much less health. Mario, can you just kill him? Not quite, but pretty damn close. Oh, that is very fucking close. And like, I want to do it, but I also don't. Like, I wish I could tackle him. Hell with it. Be a man. Seems like he's kind of limited in his movement with these blocks. Hello, I remember you. You burned me. That did, like, nothing. I did, like, a tiny bit more than nothing. I mean, yeah, you guys can do that. That's cool. I don't even mind. That's a smart move. I'm noticing a pattern, and it involves me being lit on fire. So what I want to do... I do want to kill. Well, I want to kill Bowser Jr., but I also want to be friends. So for starters, let's heal up. Two thirty to two twenty. Two twenty, two thirty. Yeah, basically, I, I don't. I just don't want to waste that shot, so you take care of it. And then... Damn. Okay. Can we move Loogie closer? Because we're not killing him this turn. I mean, if we bounce off, we could get hit. Where's the fucking plant idiot? He's in there. Bro! Yeah, shut up. Then we can at least get this with Mario and Luigi. Here, we can tackle... It is impossible to see. Tackle... And then team jump. And then do this. Luigi hopefully won't be hurt. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, no. 
I'm accidentally one pixel to the fucking left because I couldn't see because the stupid idiot shield was in the way. Alright, well there's just one guy left. And it's that one. And I don't think he's gonna last very long. Especially because we've got Luigi's sights on, like, right now. It's going to be. And he's got his thing back. And Peach probably does too. And push and burn. And now inked. I think that's it. I think that's it. In reality, like, we wouldn't have saved ourselves a turn or anything anyway. So, it's okay. It was irritable, but it's fine. And now we got the last of the golden weapons. But that doesn't matter, because again, this save file is about to be moot. M00T. Is that where we walked in? Meaning that this is where we walk out? Yeah, see, it's got an arrow saying, hey, dipshit. Don't you know how to read a sign? It's only sign language. And I was like, whoa, sign language. You done fucked me up with that one. Every sign is sign language. Hieroglyphics is sign language. Excuse me? Try again? Thank you. Here's all this money for you. We know you're not going to use it, but we're still going to give it to you. I would use it if I were keeping the file. Normally I actually do try to keep the LP files just for like, memory sake of saying, hey, I still have this. But I don't really feel like that anymore. I used to. I, the copy of Ocarina of Time that I did the LP with is a different copy than what I have on me personally. I think that's back. So... The one I did the LP with, my brother has. And I think he still has the save file. See, now I made the mistake of thinking that it put me next to the Bowser Jr. fight. And not at the very, very beginning. So that was why I did that, was because I thought it was this was the pathway leading up to Bowser Jr. Not the pathway leading up to everything. Silly me. Now give me a pedestal to put this bitch on. Wow. Gonna be a long journey. <laughs> Luigi, I've had it about up to here with you. Wow. Yeah, wow is right, and that's exactly what you're gonna be saying when I fucking smack you upside the head. So we need to put you there. Thank god it kept the block where I left it, because I thought I was going to have to redo everything. Uh, then I guess we'll just pick it back up. Because we, we do know that we will be needing it again. Drop down, you say? I would love to. Optimal game design. Yeah. What if we just knocked it off the cliff and that didn't actually achieve anything? What if I was wrong? I knew I was wrong, but it was still just a funny thought. <laughs> what if they just gave you blocks to push off the cliff that didn't achieve anything at all? Now I can put on the blue and then we can reach everything. Oh, my God. 
If you ever think to yourself that your life isn't going the way you want it to, and you feel like you should be somewhere in a different spot than where you actually are in your current age, just remember, Charles Martinet didn't get the job as Mario and Luigi until he was in his 40s. That's something I think about sometimes. You can't rush things. Life gets you when it gets you. There's still a chance for you to be successful. And this is like literally just a few feet from where we just were. From the secret ex entrance exit. Yeah. Like just walk along the path and there is this. Yeah. That's a hell of a shot. I just think about that for a minute. Loud talker. Yeah, because this is right here by Bowser. Interesting note for you. The castle, the cannon to Bowser is blocked. You can't seem to access it. But uh, that's that's it. That was all the secret inside stuff we could find. Only an hour in recording. Hour eight minutes for precise. But uh, that's basically it. In the unofficial ending... I mean, it's an official ending, but to Mario and Rabbids. Awkward spot to do it, but that's that. Anything else I'm not particularly crazy about. I'm not going after challenges. I don't care about getting all the chests. It's not really all that important. What really mattered to me was mostly the secret chapters. Chests were, like, there if I find them, but I'm not going to go out of my way for it. It's not that big of a deal. Again, just, like, 3D models that I'm not going to look at. How many have I shown you? That's right, zero. So... Um, next up, I, I'm going to record the Donkey Kong DLC next, but there will probably be a filler LP between then and now, so I'll see you guys with that. In other words, since it's so early in recording, I think I'm going to start recording a little bit of Donkey Kong. 